Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Big CD. Coming back at you with another Minecraft seed. So, uh, this one is gonna be an old world again. But, I'm also gonna expand it later. Because it looks pretty cool once it's expanded. So, the seed is Z D. But that's capital Z, lowercase e, e, capital D, lowercase e, e. So, like the last two letters of my name on here, but, you know, sound it out. And I'm going to turn coordinates on this time. So, yeah, old world, Z, D. But, uh, the cool thing about this world is when you expand it, it looks... Amazing. It looks almost like an alien landscape. Probably the closest... Besides, this one time I made Mars on Minecraft. But besides that, this is probably the closest I've ever found to an alien-looking world. So here, let me put my map off in here. So the first thing you'll notice off the bat is right across from the spawn island is a mushroom island... Well, two mushroom islands, technically. One of them is just really small. These are really rare to have in an old world. <clears throat> There's even some grass specks on it, too. So you could grow sugar cane or trees on these islands if you wanted. Little mushroom cows. <clears throat> so let me go show you around the rest of this little spot before I expand it. So you want to fill in the whole map to make sure all the chunks loaded before you do that. So, the reason you want to make it an old world first is because you get these small little biomes like this. So, you'd get, like, a nice little flower biome, right? You know, these spruce biomes. This whole side over here is basically flower biomes with trees. Except I think this island is just a normal one. And then this little mountain. So, yeah, there's also pumpkins on this old world. So before I expand it, let me show you that too. Because that's kind of rare to have without a village. See, three pumpkins. So pumpkins, mushrooms, spruce biomes, you know, mountain biomes, flower biomes. It's a pretty nice old world on its own. But it gets really cool when you expand it. So to expand it, I'm going to have to exit and go to the menu again. Let's see, and I hit the edit button. What you're going to want to do is go all the way down to the bottom, just three up and hit the button that says make infinite. And then when you press play again, the world will have been expanded. And you're in for a treat when you see what happens. Did it freeze on me? Nope. Okay. I, I think I landed in the ocean. Okay, so, yep. <clears throat> Mesa biome. <laughs> the way this looks is so cool. It's a Mesa mushroom biome. And the island connects just perfectly into that Mesa area. And look, there's a mine shaft right across the river there. That's, that's kind of small, but it extends over here. So he goes pretty deep. There's a few openings out here. And in this wall area, there's openings here too. So that's pretty cool, right? So that's not all this uh, world has to offer though. What you're going to want to do is go this way this uh southeast not exactly 100 percent southeast but basically if you were to go to the bottom right corner you'd find what you're looking for <clears throat> so under normal circumstances this is what the world looks like if it was infinite to begin with just not where you spawn and there's a uh, this giant mushroom biome in between where the two spawns are. 
<clears throat> so if you were to make this infinite off the bat, you would still get this mushroom biome. But you wouldn't spawn in front of that other mushroom biome. And that mushroom biome wouldn't exist if you didn't make it in Old World off the bat. Basically, it would just all be Mesa. But this mushroom biome is arguably much better than that one. It's just much bigger. But it needs to be infinite for you to see this. Now, under normal circumstances, you would spawn over here somewhere if you made it normal off the bat. So, or infinite off the bat, you would spawn right here. So here, let me make a map, get a cartography table out. Let's see, cartography table. I'm gonna need, come on. Empty locator map and paper there we go so you open your map put the table down put that in there yep okay so just get it to level three because that's the level that you start out with okay and that's not even how it looks when you get an infinite world it's from the bat but uh whatever Oh, I'm still trying to figure out these expansions, 100%. But basically, if you were to go south from where you spawned originally and west, then you would find that giant mushroom biome. So, yeah. Basically, the seed is always the same, except it's different for the spawn area when you upgrade it or when you expand it. So this is this village is pretty close. To the original spawn, but not quite close to the old world spawn. You see what I'm saying? You can still get to it in both versions. Just have to travel a little farther. So this village is pretty cool. I figured I would show you guys this too, because just the way it kind of extends up this mountain and it's on an island, it's almost like... It's the perfect village for this world, I'd say. Because this world is like an alien landscape. I'm just going to go back and show you guys just how big that mushroom biome was and how big the mesa biome was. They, they contrast so perfectly. Let's see. Get that paper out of my hand. And... Yeah, I can't even count how many mushrooms there are here. If you just wanted a world that would, like, impress your friends, like, biome-wise, because Mesa and Mushroom are two of the rarest biomes. To have them both right next to each other like that... Oh, I forgot. There's something even more important about this whole thing. Yeah, so, okay, as if all these biomes weren't enough. It just sparked my memory the and if okay if you guys want to go back and see any of the things i've passed you can just look at my coordinates as i've had them on the whole time but uh i've tried to point out all the important things i forgot there is something that is even rarer than all of that rarer than the mushroom biome rarer than the village on the hill in the island rarer than the mesa and the mine shaft no there is something much cooler, and it is right here. A half a ship just sitting almost 100% above water. Only one block is submerged. And you can get a treasure map if you come inside here. And the treasure is right over there. In between the village and the boat. So yeah, I figured I would show you guys that. Before I call this video quits. I don't know, I think this seed is pretty amazing. Well, that was a pretty nice treasure map. 
lets you see the village and everything too.